Good evening, people. Um, as a lot of you all know, dry January. Um, went for a Burton last Ooh, night, shall we say? End. <laughs> um, a certain person, Gareth, um, he asked me. This for it's normally <laughs> this one's fault, but Gareth begged me to drink with him and he seemed in a bad way. So I, being a gentleman, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I advised. Anyway, right. Frostproof. Belgian style white from Cigar City Brewing in Tampa. Born in Tampa, in a way. We've done one of these before. Um, I've had this a little while. I don't know, it got stuck at the back of the fridge. Comes in at 6% ABV. Yeah. Um, I'll just use this because it's only a 330ml can. The best price I can see it for searching online is £2.99. So it's not by any means cheap. Yeah, they call it Belgian style white. Oh, so, get your phone. I want to get a picture. <laughs> so that will be interesting. Yeah, we've done one before, and I'm sure it surprised me nice. Yes, um, I was reading on their website. I think they've done um, a slightly lower ABV version of this, but they wanted to make it more robust. Um, so they've hired the alcohol percentage. Mm -hmm. Touche. Mm -hmm. Right, anyway, mm -hmm. let's get our pour. You're in a funny mood today. <laughs> She's been on the happy pills today, people. I don't know what's going on with her. Midlife crisis, I think. For is she on here? Do you want to be in the back of the picture? Oh, of... I don't mind. You insist. Oh, I don't really insist. I'd rather stick Robbie in the back. But, you know, these things. Right, okay. Let's get the picture. You and Pop Stars, man. That's not straight. Do people's OCD, that does. They tell me. So on. Right. I just hope I didn't blink in it, that's my usual pocket. Anyway, here is your... Michelle, by the way, struggles to get up and down off the seat because she's a bit of a midget. Quite high, the stool's normally little. There you are. It's only a one finger head with mild carbonation, isn't it? Yeah. What colour would you say? Um, It's slightly hazy and a hazy. it's a bit of golden colour. Golden colour. So, there you go. And... Mm, that's actually doesn't smell halfway bad. Mmm, yeah. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice hoppy smell to it with um, some citrus notes there, so yeah, that is smelling good. Yeah, it smells like some other fruit in it. Can you sit down or go away? You get the beer and the beer comes out, that's it. Don't get excited and that tail wags everywhere. And it's almost locks the camera fine, and then we almost have a dip out, and then here comes the other little rat. <laughs> right, anyway, if you don't mind, yeah, yeah, that's it. Let's get on, please. Right, here we go. Let's have a go. Ooh. Now that mm. tastes like a Belgian wine. That is very nice. There are some citrusy notes there. But also, I'm getting through orange. Yeah, orange, citrus. Mm, yeah, there's a real sort of um, zesty orangey taste to this. It's not overly hoppy. It did smell quite hoppy on the nose. but well, You can taste the power though, can't you? Yeah, you can taste it's a bit stronger. But at the end, yeah. it, it is a bit more hoppy at the end. And, oh, that's nice. That really is very pleasant, yeah. Yeah. Our brewed with coriander and orange peel. There you go. Didn't really get coriander in it. it was no, there was a slight hint of coriander that I'm picking up on. Now that you've said it, now I'm sort of looking for it, but it is very, very subtle. Um, yeah, but the orange orange peel, yeah, I definitely picked a full up on it. Full-flavoured, yet delicate beer based in orange peel and coriander additions to a Belgian-style white base. Frost proof was designed with fresh air and outdoor adventures in mind. Mm -hmm. It is really refreshing. It's, it's, it's got a lovely fresh taste to it. 
Yeah, this cigar brewing, we reviewed one some time ago. I would have said we probably brew ain't out of date, is it? Ooh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it says canned on the 28th of the 6th, 21. So that'd be good to go for a year. Don't worry about that. It doesn't give it an end date if you look at the can. Just yeah, which means it's pretty much fine. Yeah, it's only, it's only we've only had it seven months. This isn't hugely carbonated. Um, there's a slight bit of carbonation there, isn't there? But it isn't. It's very smooth though, yeah. the 6%. On like your mouth. That's a very, very pleasant drink, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I've. Yeah, we, we did one before. I'll have to check back at some point. Mm. And yeah, well, I remember the uh, brewing company. Yeah. That I mean, obviously, I think we got these from, um, but they haven't got them at the moment, that's why. I think we got these from, um, oh, I can't remember right, I'm not aware of where I got these from. <laughs> anyway, people, so that's be honest to you, if you can get this, and it doesn't include um, extortionate money, definitely, anyone that likes uh, Visons will like this. Yes, it's, um, it is very much a Belgian style. Yeah, very much a Belgian. Um, it's, it's like your, along your lines of your Hogarth. Mm. Yeah. It, it is like, yeah, but it's got a bit more punch to it. It's got a bit more, but it's not a stronger, yeah. more flavoured mm. Hogan. When you think of the back oh. in the day, yeah. and this will take you back when you were, you know, I mean, you said the wrong word yeah, then on the video. I mean, no, I mean, we were this video, yeah. <laughs> no, you think back in the day, um, 2001 in Hastings, when we used to drink Hogan. Oh, when it first came out, and it, it was stronger. Strong. Yeah, Think I about it back to the, oh, um, yeah. the have lock. Mm -hmm. This is like that. And it, do you remember? I, I, a lot of you won't be our ages. And then again, some of you will be. Um, when Hogarten used to be the higher mm -hmm. ABV, I'm going back 20 years now. Yeah, it was a this long is time. 22 long time. years, 21 years. Well, that's a relative, anyway, 20 odd years. But um, it was Hogarten used to be, it was more whiter as well. Than it, it was, now. it was a lot more whiter than what it was where it is now and yeah it had a much stronger age it was about eight percent it was really pleasant if i yeah, remember right it was, really it, it was very nice it was, um this, just, that's, like that. this is similar uh, from what i remember um yeah this this drink is a definite yes for me it is ticking all the boxes there are wonderful flavors in there it's yeah. really smooth it's really refreshing um to say that's born in tampa if that was made in america yeah. That is America's mm. finest visor, isn't it? They don't do so well normally, do they, with the mm. visors? But yeah, definite yes from me. Yeah, that gets a yes from um, me too. I've got to go on a easy 8 out of 10. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to go well, for. If you get a chance to try this, it's well worth it. It's a really, really lovely drink. Definitely. Anyway, if you got this far, thank you very much yeah, for, yeah, watching for watching. On this Saturday evening, if I manage to get this up, it is actually... 1849 at present and as i say dry january's gone out the window <laughs> but we've still got a bundle of low alcohols to do which so. we will get through and we will be trying them and let you know what we think uh, somehow <laughs> right okay as i said thanks for watching uh like consider subscribing if you haven't and comment see you next Bonjour. time